Hello maths fans, negative indices, uh, also known as negative powers or negative exponents. Indices, powers, exponents, the little number up in the air, basically. Um, here is the rule for uh, negative exponents. Uh, any number to the power of minus n is going to be 1 over the positive power of that. Probably easiest to demonstrate this with a couple of examples. So if we have 4 to the power of negative 1, that negative 1 means it's going to be 1 over. It's going to be the reciprocal of that 4 to the power of 1. So 1 over 4 to the power of 1, which is 4. With this uh, second example here, if we've got the 7 to the power of negative 2, the negative means the 1 over, and then 7 squared is 49. So it's always that negative in the power means you're going to write 1 over, or you're going to try and do the reciprocal, which is 1 divided by that number. And then 7 and the 2 on the bottom there, the positive power, basically. Let's look at a couple more examples. So here it says, write as a fraction 6 to the power of negative 2. Let's remind ourselves of the rule. So we're going to have 1 over a to the power of n. Here we've got a is 6, n is uh, 2, and so we're going to write it as 1 over 6 squared. And 6 squared is 36, so to write this as a fraction, 1 over 36. There it is, simple as that. You write 1 over the number, and then it's the positive power on the bottom. Um, we might uh, have to work back the other way. So we might want to write a uh, fraction as a single power. So you, to do this, we need to know a little bit about the power that we're writing it as. So we need to know some things about 3. Well, I know 3 to the power of 1 is 3. I know 3 squared is 9. I know 3 cubed is 27. 3 to the power of 4, 81. To work these out, you times in by 3 as you go down, if you're not sure. Um, so in this case, I know that that bottom number is 3 squared. So I've got 1 over 3 squared. So to write this as a single power of n, I, uh, of 3, sorry, I can write it as 3. The 1 over gives me that is where I have the negative, and then squared, or negative 2. So... 1 over 9 is the same as 3 to the power of negative 2. So you need to spot what power of 3 is that bottom number, and then the 1 over, we bring in that negative power. Another example there, 1 over 81. Well, we've just seen 3 to the power of 4 is 81, so this is the same as 1 over 3 to the power of 4. So to write that as a single power of 3, we can say that is the same as 3 to the power of negative 4. For 1 over 81, 3 to the power of negative 4. That's negative indices. Pretty much all there is to it.